The true power of astrology does not lie in predicting. It does not lie in the practice of stereotyping different signs or trying to find your ideal partner. While there are many gifts that can be brought through the understanding of astrology, the main goal is to understand oneself. The main goal and main gift is to understand your life and the experiences that you are having or that you have had. You can understand the way in which you communicate further. You can have a window into your psyche. Through this process, you can understand some of the patterns in your life that may have been less than ideal, the things that might hold you back, the things that might have you saying every day, ah, oh, I'm going to do something about that, and you simply don't. When you have someone who can understand a chart, who can look at it, someone who is living their own life, not just sitting behind a computer screen and reading charts and reading books about astrology, but that is out there practicing it and can look at you and reference what they have experienced, that is the gift. There are a lot of things you can do with a lot of things. A weapon is simply a tool that is turned in a different direction and aimed at a person. Don't aim astrology at yourself. You don't understand all Virgos. You don't understand all Scorpios the same way you don't understand all people with darker colored skin and you don't understand all people with blue eyes or green eyes or people who decide to be fans of a certain sports team. No, we are individuals. We are individual sparks of life. We are individual sparks of consciousness within a human body. And during this time, the natal chart can point to things. If you choose to believe in this, which you do not have to, this is not an evangelical movement, astrology. So do not get lost in this. You are not wiser than anyone for speaking to the stars or consulting with them, which is what astrology is. You're consulting with the movements of the stars and the energies therein. When you study books that were written 20 years ago, they may be outdated. You need to write your own book, but that does not mean there's not wisdom. If no one had started by building a straw house, we wouldn't have a brick house, we wouldn't have a house. Someone had to begin it. But you, if you are interested these days, you need to understand that things are moving at an accelerated rate as they are in all areas of life. So put yourself in the driver's seat Find someone who knows what they're talking about, someone whose intentions are to share the gift that they have, the ability to read the stars, the ability to work with numbers, mathematics, the ability to talk about these things without making decisive and sweeping statements, stereotypes, and you will be well served.